So let's start here. What exactly is clock domain crossing and why is it hard? Yeah, so to understand clock domain crossing, first you gotta make sure you have a hand, good handle on what a clock domain is. So in FPGAs, there are two different kinds of logic. Uh, there's combinatorial and there's sequential logic. The idea of combinatorial logic is you base some operation happening based on what some value currently is. And I know that doesn't necessarily make too much intuitive sense, but it's like the idea of, let's say you have two, you're holding up two thumbs up and your, your right hand is a thumbs down if the left hand is thumbs up. And so if left hand turns thumbs down, the other one goes up. And so it's always the opposite. It's always dependent on what the other one is in this very moment. And so the idea there is maybe you have a circuit set up to where whenever one thing is on, the other thing has to be off. And the FPGA needs to understand that that value is opposite from the other. It's the same idea when people talk about computers speak in ones and zeros. It's all of that. Is it true? Is it false? Is If that's a zero, is that a one? It's the same idea.